13 News Now is your back to school station. We all know how to slow down in school zones, but we also know a lot of people don't do that. So let's break down the numbers from the National Highway Transportation Safety Advisory. There are two things that factor into the equation. The typical reaction time to actually recognize that a child is running in the road is about three-fourths of a second. You also have to factor in another three-fourths of a second to slam the brakes, giving you 1.5 seconds to stop your vehicle without factoring in your speed. If you're going the speed limit of 20 miles per hour in a school zone during ideal conditions with dry roads, your car will stop in 63 feet. The distance almost doubles for someone who is speeding at 30 miles per hour, meaning it would take 119 feet for that driver to stop. When it comes to stopping distance, the mechanics of your car, the conditions of your brakes and tires, and the road conditions all play a critical role, proving that each second really does count. And as many families gear up for the first day of school tomorrow, we have everything else you need to know before heading to the bus stop. Join us today at 4 o'clock this afternoon for our hour-long back-to-school special right here on 13 News Now. Again, that airs at 4 this afternoon.